Joining us now is Dr. Robert Murphy. He is a professor of infectious diseases at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. Good morning, Dr. Murphy. Good morning. I want to start off with monkey, monkey pox. The WHO says it's, it's not, they don't think it's going to become a pandemic. But what are your concerns about the, what seemingly is a spread among human beings, uh, as particularly here in uh, the U.S.? Well, you know, every day the numbers are just increasing with the monkeypox. So, you know, just a few days ago it was 300. Um, yesterday is 643 cases uh, reported from 30 countries. What, what's happening, it's not going to be a pandemic but it definitely is going to be an international outbreak because instead of rodents giving it to, to people, what's happened is now people are giving it to people. So the humans have become the host. And uh, you know this has to be uh, really stamped down. Fortunately, it's not as contagious as a uh, coronavirus and uh, it, you have to come in contact actually with the lesion itself. How many cases are there in Illinois? And if someone gets infected, what are their treatment options? Well, um, in the United States, uh, there's only 15 cases total in the whole country. Um, the big cases in Europe are in France and Spain. Portugal have reported uh, more than here. We've had our first case reported in, in Illinois, somebody who had traveled to Europe uh, and brought it back. They're in isolation. Uh, so, you know, the numbers are, are really pretty small so far in the United States. It, it's it's not an overwhelming pandemic or even an epidemic, but it's and, an outbreak. And the, and the treatment options if someone is infected? Yeah, there's a couple treatment options. There's a drug um, called uh, tecoviramat, which is approved for monkeypox. Uh, hard to get a hold of, but uh, it's out there. And another drug called brinsidofavir, uh, which is also available, but it's a little bit on the toxic side. Most of these cases have just resolved on their own. Most of them have not been treated. There's also a vaccine that's available. <laughs> Let's talk about COVID. COVID cases are up following the Memorial Day weekend, uh, but hospitalizations seem to be pretty steady. Uh, what do you think is on the horizon there? Well, the number of cases has really skyrocketed. We're in the sixth wave, Lauren, and uh, it's, it's much bigger than even what's being reported because most of the people are doing the test at home, and that's not even recorded anywhere. But the good news, like you said, hospitalizations are fairly stable. They're up, but they're not up that much. And capacity is there. Um, no ICU problems, uh, no hospital bed problems like we had in Omicron in, in January. Uh, so uh, and the death rate has been flat. And this means that uh, we're protected with the immunity we have already from being infected and from the vaccines. Uh, people with the who've had a booster actually are doing even better. Uh, before we let you go, you have an update on hepatitis cases among children? Yeah, hepatitis case. This is another real mystery. We don't even know what's causing it. There's now over 650 cases, mostly in young children. They're looking at under 10, any kind of kids, but it's mostly even under five. Uh, and uh, they've been reported from 33 countries. So this looks like some kind of infection. Uh, adenovirus 41 is the uh, prime target right now, but a lot of the kids don't even have any evidence of that. So we're not really sure. And whether or not co-infection with COVID has anything to do with this, we don't know. Uh, we just really don't know. Uh, we've got nine cases in Illinois. Uh, the problem with this, it, this hepatitis is so serious, about 10% of the kids are getting liver transplants. I mean, that's serious. Dr. Murphy, thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. Okay, have a great weekend. Thanks. Let's get a check of the weather with